This is 7 National News in our top story this evening. UAE Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, received the Chairman of the International Exhibitions Bureau, the intergovernmental organization based in Paris, and the accompanying delegation at Zabil Palace on Tuesday. The Ruler of Dubai welcomed Mr. Steen Christensen and delegation, who are on a four-day inquiry mission to the country to assess its ability to host the World Expo 2020 and examine the facilities available for the event, stressing the keen interest of the UAE government, officials and people. His Highness stated that the UAE represents the region's ambition to host the expo, adding that the event gathers many cultures to demonstrate their scientific, technical and industrial innovation under one umbrella. Sheikh Mohammed assured that the UAE leadership, federal and local governments, private sectors and community are coordinating on the highest levels to furnish the exhibition and win the bid to host it. Acquiring the title from the Guinness World Records, the world's tallest hotel has officially opened in Dubai. The JW Marriott brand officially opened the JW Marriott Marquis Dubai. The 72-storey property is the first JW Marriott Marquis outside of North America and the 59th addition to the brand's global luxury portfolio. Soaring at 355 metres, the hotel is just 26 metres shorter than New York City's Empire State Building. According to local reports, the hotel, which is owned by Emirates Group, is the first in Dubai that is able to accommodate large groups and will play a key role in attracting major conventions and events. Almost all parking meters in Dubai have started accepting the new one dirham coins as the Roads and Transport Authority completes upgrading the meters by the end of this month. According to a local report, Adela Al Marzuki, Director of Parking at RTA's Traffic and Roads Agency, said that as many as 4,000 meters have been upgraded over the past two months and the remaining will be done by the end of February. Motorists have been having difficulties as the new one dirham coin, which is smaller and thinner in dimension, was rejected by the meters, forcing people to look for alternatives. Meanwhile, motorists in many areas of Abu Dhabi will have to wait until June for the upgrades to be completed. Al Marzuki added that in case a motorist comes across a non-updated meter, Alternative payment modes like null cards and M-parking can be used. Thursday will see the much-awaited Qasr al Husn festival opening to the public. Organizers say it will be a family affair that will allow residents and tourists to experience Emirati culture and heritage. Among the highlights of the festival, which will run until the 9th of March, is the show titled The Story of a Fort, Legacy of a Nation. The short story is a masterpiece by world-renowned artistic producer Franco Dragone. He said it is a visual poetry dedicated to the story of Qasr al Husn and 250 years of Emirati culture. The show is a powerful and emotional experience that combines music, special effects and live performers set in a 5,600 square metre purpose-built tent. The artistic mastermind had been commissioned by the Abu Dhabi Tourism and Culture Authority to create a series of unique 75-minute shows that bring to life the capital's rich history through a spectacular performance. With Her Highness, it was the dialogue about what is authentic and what is respect. I think respect and authenticity is two different approach. We have to be authentic, but most of all, we need to be respectful. Because we will be always, if we want to go into details, we will always make a mistake. But if you respect, there is never a mistake. And the Gulf Petrochemicals and Chemicals Association's inaugural Clean Up the Gulf initiative today saw a large number of volunteers from around the region join cleanup operations at several beaches and ports in Gulf countries. The campaign officially kicked off at a cleanup event in Dubai by His Excellency Dr. Rashid Ahmad bin Fahad, UAE Minister of Environment and Water, while simultaneous events took place in Abu Dhabi and Saudi Arabia. Volunteers from schools, local communities and diving clubs work to remove litter from beaches and gather plastic waste for recycling from coastal areas. Out of 80 million tonnes of waste generated in the GCC each year, the percentage of plastic waste is put at 26 million tonnes, which GPCA says is a result of high consumption of consumer products. Thanks to you all as students, 
which we count a lot on you. You are the future generation. You are the one that we are counting, and we are uh, hoping that we provide for you and keep for you a healthy environment. As we all, yes, we are today joining Jibka in this uh, campaign, which also represents its social responsibility. And finally this evening, the who's who of the advertising and media community were out in force this week, this time pitting their skills against each other on the golf course for the Creative Masters. Founded in 2012 by Mark Lewis, the creative director of Low Mina, the Creative Masters is a non-profit golf day bringing together members of the advertising industry for a day of fun and competition. Held at the Majlis course at the Emirates Golf Club, the event saw the participation of 100 of the top advertising and production people and the top 30 companies within the MENA region. With a Jaguar XF up for grabs for a hole-in-one at the 15th hole, competition was fierce amongst the participants. And while no one walked away with the car, the Media One Hotel team finished on top with 48 points.